Hi, my name is Steve San Giacomo. I'm here with my brother Mike, and we're here in our home ranch here in our beautiful Sonoma Valley next to our tasting terrace here at our little winery here in Sonoma. And we're here to talk about our favorite, my favorite time of year is the post 2022 <laughs> harvest because harvest is over, amazing harvest. And we're just going to talk about the 2022 vintage a little bit. And Mike, maybe you want to talk about, maybe start about where it all began in the spring and you know how this whole season got kicked off. Sure, yeah, actually I think 2022 turned out to be a really banner year in a lot of ways. Uh, we'll find out when the wines here are made here in a little while, but um, we started with a lower than rain, lower than usual rainfall, for sure. Um, we've got an early bud break because of part of that. Uh, then we had some nice spring rains in April and May. I was a little double-edged sword. Uh, it certainly affected the bloom, reduced the crop a little bit, but brought some much needed soil moisture to the ground. And that really helped the canopies over the summer. Um, looking in June, July, and August was really some ideal weather. I mean, I had one day of over 100, uh, some ideal ripening conditions. Uh, and then we got in September, and obviously we hit that uh, week of, you know, 100 degree weather. Uh, and I think the, the fact that the vines were in such good condition, they really handled it well. You know, we had uh, 100 degrees, but the diurnal te temperature change, meaning it went down 50 degrees at night, the humidity came back up real high. So um, really maintained a lot of that acid through that heat. So uh, I think the wines weathered that really well. Uh, excuse me, the vines weathered, weathered it really well and uh, it should make some really great wine. Yeah, and I think it summed up, you know, that early bud break. And we got that, it was a drier year as we're talking about, but that May, June, it was like the May, you know, the uh, dream rain, right? That came in to really allow the vines to have that moisture to carry them through the summer. I think the important thing that the vines are extremely healthy going into the whole September, you know, the, uh, the heat wave, and then also we got a little rain, but the vines are in perfect condition. And a lot of that in talking to our fellow peers is the attention to detail farming that we did in Sonoma County and just years and years of, you know, paying, knowing how our vineyards react, of setting up the canopy, right? From leafing to how we irrigate our vines to how we manage the whole, you know, structure of the vine uh, really allowed, I think, the fruit um, to really weather those, um, you know, weather issues. And the grapes and the wines are tasting amazing. And I think it came down to that phenolic maturity. We had the heat, and then it got cold. The vines recovered, grapes recovered, and the vines, the chemistry is amazing, the flavors are amazing, and it's looking to be an amazing 2022 vintage. And you know, we can't wait to see how these wines develop in barrel. So. Well, cheers to that and looking cheers. forward to a wonderful wet, wet winter that's coming. Cheers.